Hello, I'm Ryan Runge, president of AECT. Uh, today, I just want to give you a quick overview of our CEV costing tool that's on our website, aectearthblock.com. The tool is in this section titled CEV costing tool. You'll see a general overview of the tool and what kind of information it can provide you. Uh, you'll also find our FAQ section here, which I do recommend going through before starting down the, the course of going through the tool. Um, just uh, especially if you're new to the world of CEVs, it gives you a lot of base answers, a lot of basic questions about the process and, uh, you know, gives you some info about stabilized versus unstabilized blocks, which you will be required to input when you go through our the costing tool. So I do recommend going through that first and then uh, then you can jump right into the tool. The uh, the hard inputs you'll need to put in are in these yellow cells. It's the, the linear footage of wall and then the orange cells are all drop downs. So um, you'll you'll total up the, the linear footage of wall based on your projects. Um, I'm going to say we're going to do about 1500 linear feet of wall. We do, that's probably three or four houses worth. Um, but many of our customers are buying machines um, to, to build multiple houses. So I'm going to say we're going to do 10 inch thick external walls with a height of say nine feet. The tool is going to automatically recommend that you use a 10 inch by 14 inch wall. It's going to recommend that you use a AECT 3500 machine for that. And that's, there's the price of the machine. Um, then you'll go down and, you know, depending on whether you want to do internal walls uh, made out of CEBs or not, you'll put in a linear footage there. So I'll say I, I looked at my projects and totaled it up to 1100 feet. Um, this is going to automatically recommend that you use an eight inch internal wall. I'm going to go ahead and use that same nine foot uh, number, obviously, for that. And then um, this is going to recommend that you use the eight inch by 14 inch block, which again, what will come from that machine as well. Um, then you just need to choose the type of block. So um, I'm going to say we're going to do stabilized blocks for the external walls. I'm going to say we can get soil for $15 a yard, including delivery. Uh, I'm going to say our cement is about $280 a cubic yard. And then I'm going to say we're going to do unstabilized blocks for our internal walls. I know it typically takes us about uh, a crew of five people to run, run a full batch plant. Um, we probably average about $17 an hour for our guys. And um, you are going to have some incidental costs that are kind of listed out here. Uh, plastic wrap, fuel, oil, what have you. And you will have some cost associated with um, pallets or uh, trailers or something to, to store the blocks on. And then the state that you're in comes into play uh, when it's when the tool starts comparing the cost of delivery of blocks and versus cost of um, renting machinery and have it, having it delivered to your, your location. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to say we're in uh, Nebraska and just kind of see what, what the tool tells me. Um, there's a lot of good information out here to the right. It's, it has calculated now how many external blocks you need, how many internal blocks you need. Um, it tells you how much soil you're going to need for your project, how much stabilizer, um, and it kind of goes on and on. Um, it, it gives a breakout of the cost if you were to rent the machinery, a breakout if you were to buy blocks from us, and then, and then it gives this nice comparison at the bottom um, of what it would cost if you had your own machine versus if you rent our machinery versus if you have us make blocks and send them to you. And uh, noting that we, we only ship stabilized blocks. We do not ship unstabilized uh, earth blocks. And so this kind of gives you an idea and help you, might help you make a decision on buying a machine versus renting machinery or, or buying blocks. Um, and then down here at the bottom of this page, it kind of circles you back and Bring, gives you some good information here about building with CEBs. If you've got any questions on the general principles of how to do it, um, if you're interested in buying machinery, there's our our uh, machinery sales section here. And then there's um, our rental section, which kind of tells you what's entailed with, with renting all the, the equipment that you see here in this picture. And then, then there's our section that um, kind of shows you what type of blocks we sell and and um, how much they cost. So hopefully um, you find this tool useful on, on the AECT website. 
and um, feel free to visit aectearthblock.com and, and check it out. Thanks for watching.